Hi. Uh, my name is Afnan. I, this is a video updates on my aquaponic system. On this video, I want to explain how the bell valve that I designed work. Okay, let us see the bell valve from the top. This is the bell. All you can see is the dome of the bell. Uh, wow. Let's just open up the valve. Okay. You can see the stand pipe of the bell valve with the 25 to 50 millimeter adapter and uh, if you can view right inside you can see the water the tiny hole that I drill the 3 millimeter hole that I drill to cause the water to slowly drip out if you have a power failure or you decide to use a timer to time this valve to operate it uh, just like a normal flood and drain with a timer relief or you can use the bell to create the suction or the auto siphon uh, effect of the valve right uh, this valve this particular valve design will be able to you will be able to use a smaller pump than if you use a straight pipe uh, what I mean is, if you decide to use a 25mm standpipe, uh, you will require to use a bigger pump to generate the siphon effect. With that situation, you may have problem in cutting out the water. By using a 25mm to 50mm adapter, what will happen is, when the water reach the top of this standpipe, it will flow it will overflow due to the shape of this adapter it will create something like a Bernoulli effect it will create a lower pressure at the point where the 50 millimeter and the 25 millimeter pipe meet that lower pressure at that particular uh, point will uh, will subsequently create a lower vacuum and it will this pull the water more in this video show you that uh, what happened now the water start to avalanche in and at that point where the 50 millimeter made the 25 millimeter pipe it will create a lower pressure and this will cause more water to be pulled in and more air to be pulled in right with the bell covering this uh, stand pipe it will create a suction and cause it to do the auto siphon. Let me close the valve. Also, with this design, you are not worried to have um, pebbles going inside the valve. You can just cover up the whole thing and no problem. Okay. Once the suction have created has, has uh, occurred or the auto siphon has occurred, you can see from the water coming out at the bottom. After a while, it will cut off. Once the water level has reached the bottom of the bell, on a bell valve design, you will have two problems one is to generate the initial flow initial siphon the second problem you will face is to cut off the the siphon if you use a large pump you will have problem in cutting off the siphon effect if you use a small pump you will have problem in generating the initial uh, siphon so I safely can see with the 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter adapter I have uh, eliminated pro that problem 
the water will cut off once it reach the bell uh, lower bottom when the air start to go in due to the ratio of the in inside and outside of this adapter the water that is standing here will not be able to be held by the pressure and it will just drop and cause the suction to stop so with this adapter i've eliminated the problem of stopping the siphon effect once it started if the valve if the pump sorry if the pump is uh, capacity is big so with this design you can use a valve a pump which varies in capacity from 12 watt to roughly around 20 watt right and uh, it's easier to illustrate in with drawing to see how the valve function but uh, I'm quite confident due to that um, 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter adapter that will cause the that eliminate the problem of starting the siphon with a lower capacity pump and it will also it will also eliminate the problem if you use a higher capacity pump to cut off the water right thank you very much and uh, this is just a brief explanation